I'll open it up by having Coach McLean make an opening statement for you guys, and then if you have questions, just raise your hand and please direct it uh, to whom you'd like your question answered. From whom. I, I, I think first I'd say what a what a highly competitive game out of both teams, and um, we had our points when we could have broke. Uh, they had their points where they could have broke. Both teams had guys step up and make plays, but I, I think in the overall picture for both universities, I, I'd say this: I think this is a great event for both universities. I, I think. When you, when you talk about recruiting and you talk about um, recruiting Illinois kids, there were a lot of Illinois kids out there making plays today. And I hear that a lot out in the recruiting world. And, and really, uh, you know, I, I, I get tired of it because there are very good Illinois kids on both these teams. And, and if, if you were watching it today, you saw them making really good plays. Go ahead. Coach, talk a little bit about your freshman play today. They scored at least 60% of your points, and they, they showed no fear out there. Well, I think, again, and, and when you take over a program and you talk process, people start to go, well, at what point do we see a reward for the process? Because <clears throat> all fans look at is winning and losing. This is the fifth time I've rebuilt a program. They're, they're learning where the shots come. They're learning how to get more comfortable. They're learning what, what our system is. And I've, and I've really got 13 freshmen. So I think they relaxed. Every game they get more comfortable. And they're getting a feel for their teammates. And so that's why they got easier shots today. They got shots when they were ready to shoot. And we went from being a bad shooting team to a good shooting team because of great play. Not, not, Illinois was guarding hard. And we made the extra pass, got the wide open shot, and we knocked some down. That's, that's what the freshmen are getting better at every time. How much, how much does it impact them that they're, they're missing some people in their front court? Illinois? Yes. Well, there's no question you're missing LaRon Black, who is a kid I recruited in Indiana. Um, and he's a hard-working, garbage, play hard, really defend for him, really rebound. So I, I think John's went through a whole period here where he hasn't had his whole team. And so I, I think no question, he, he, they miss him on the front line because he gives them another athlete on the front line. You know, you're talking about the freshman. What about Dominique's performance early on, starting off with 14 of the first 15 points of the game? Well, and, and again, as Dikembe would tell you, I'm probably as hard on those two right now for two freshmen as, as you can be because I need them to grow up quickly. I need them to play like veterans. And yet I knew it's a process of I thought he came out and relaxed. I thought he didn't force anything. He, he got a rhythm going, and then his teammates did a good job of going, he's, he's, he's hot right now, find me. And kind of the same thing happened in the second half for Dikembe. All of a sudden, he got going, and they were finding him. That's a maturity factor for our team, but it's a maturity factor for two young freshmen that I'm asking <coughs> to do a lot. For either of the players, despite the loss, is this a bit of a I say we're definitely disappointed in the loss, but we definitely uh, realize how hard we played, and we're definitely proud about that. Um, I don't think, as us as players, we obviously want to get the win. And, uh, and this one definitely hurts, but we're definitely building on it. We definitely good. I feel like we progressed today. You can, babe, when you guys went on the 14-0 run, did you feel like that that was something you guys could sustain for the rest of the game and did you kind of <coughs> really take it to Illinois like you did? Uh, I'm not really for sure, but. Happy that we got better today as a team and prepare for the next game. I think I, I can help you answer that in the sense of they've got veteran guards. I knew when we made the run, there was a point one of those guards was going to answer, and they had a young kid come off the bench today, a kid that 
I've known since he was in eighth grade, uh, Jalen, who really stepped up and made some big baskets for him. And so, uh, you know, I, I knew they'd answer the run. They're a good basketball team. They're a Big Ten team. And so, but yet, I, I knew our team knew we, we, we had it. We put ourselves in a position to win. That's growth for us. And we didn't do it individually. We did it as a team. Steve, what do you think it says about your team that <coughs> Harris and Dominique in foul trouble for most of the second half? You guys not only stayed close, but even took a lead for a little while. Well, it says to me as a coach, there's times I look out there and go, wow, I've got four freshmen on the court. <laughs> and, and they're playing hard, and, and we're going to have good depth. I think our depth has shown at times. There's times our depth hasn't come through for us. But again, that's part of the process, is learning. We're going to play a lot of guys, so be ready when your number's called and come in and be productive. And I thought Michael Kalawali came off the bench today and really gave us some great minutes. And another freshman in our program thought of San Thomas second half really gave us great minutes. Matter of fact, when I look at the plus minus when 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 the game's over, at one point we had four freshmen out there and that was one of our highest plus minus lineups. So it it tells me the process is coming. And again, I understand fans only worry about winning and losing. I know I've been here eight months. And I'm trying to change a culture of losing for 10 years. And they would tell you, it's not any fun right now. It ain't supposed to be fun. As I told them, they started to become a better basketball team today. And as they learn that's the process that works, they'll get the reward at some point. Let's talk about the freshmen energize you guys as veterans. Um, yeah, freshmen definitely come in every day in practice. They come in pushing us, pushing us. We all push each other, trying to improve every single day. You know, yeah, it's definitely impressive. A lot of freshmen, how they've been, how they've been progressing. Uh, I feel like they're growing up fast. Like we need them to grow up fast, like Coach said. So, yeah, uh, it's been great for us. Uh, Coach, any word on Nigel Young? No. Any questions? Coach, much more efficient offense in the second half. Were there any keys to that turnaround? Yeah, we, we were moving the basketball better. I think early in the game, we were trying to make it off one play, off one pass. And we figured out, no, they're going to help. You're going to have to kick it. And you're going to have to make one more drive. And then somebody will be open. And and again, when you have veteran players, they adjust to that in the first half. When you got young guys, they they they've got to see it. They've got to talk about it at halftime. They got to talk about it in timeouts. And you know, I this new rule is killing me because I need all of my timeout, and they keep warning me every game. <laughs> got to get them out. We we got a lot to talk about in there. But again, it, probably the ball movement in the second half was way better. But our defense was way better, too. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.